I made it safely to Costco. Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to my channel, Plus Size in Canada. My name is Miranda, and yes, I came to Costco. Um, we have some snow, just a little bit, just enough to make the roads greasy. Um, so I took my time. Uh, the visibility was fine. It just was the highways were snow packed. So just had to take your time. There was one lane that was pretty much clear for the most part. Anyways, got here fine. No problem. Um, yeah, I want to go to Costco today and normally I wouldn't have come if there was snow, you know what I mean? Just why? But the reason why <laughs> is because my husband works the next two days. Um, so really I wouldn't be able to get here until Wednesday and I don't want to wait that long for fresh produce. So this is my favorite place to buy all the fresh, healthy foods. I'm hoping they have lots to choose from. That is my plan for today, um, to eat healthy. Yes, it's slow and steady, guys, slow and steady. One of my friends actually commented about the weight loss journey, the health journey. There's no expiration date which I love that. There's no expiration date on my health. There's no expiration date on my weight loss journey, my health journey. It's it's never ending. It's always going to be here. So low and slow, baby. And I actually commented back to somebody too. I was like, if I lose weight super quickly and get my sexy back super quickly, it'll scare people. They'll be like, Whoa. and I mean, we don't need to scare people. <laughs> So low and slow, guys, low and slow. Why don't you guys come with me in the store? I'll show you a few things, and then we'll go back home and do a haul. I actually might have to stop off a couple extra stores because on my way in, I was thinking, oh my goodness, what am I going to pack my kids in their lunch cans this week? I was totally assuming we weren't going to be going to school on Monday because of COVID. So um, it still kind of depends on what happens today but it's kind of looking like they're still gonna be going to school tomorrow. So I need to keep that in mind too. Anyways, the parking lot's pretty busy and people are staring at me and uh, I'm okay with that. I don't mind. I mean, take a picture, honey, you know? <laughs> All right, come with me. Let's mask up and sanitize up and get going. I'm hoping so bad they have the dill pickle salad. Please, dill pickle salad on my land. I'll have to buy like probably three, maybe four, probably three. I don't think I could eat four that quickly. Anyways, why can't my family like this food with me? It'd be so much better. <gasps> All the pickles, guys. Let's go shopping. multiple times now and I've never bought one. I think it's time to give it a try. Can't beat that deal guys. Can't beat it. The regular $4 a package at any other store and now it's $10 for five packages. Feel you. this I walk right by it oh yeah Doesn't that look beautiful, you guys? Especially my loves. <laughs> All right, you guys, I did really good. I stayed on budget, so my husband's gonna be happy. My hands are freezing cold, and now it's freezing rain out. So it's the Maritimes. 
welcome to my world. <laughs> honestly, it could be plus 15 and sunny tomorrow. You honestly never know what to expect here on the East Coast. Anyways, I am going to stop at a couple spots. I need to run into Winners to get some purple shampoo because yesterday when I was at Winners, I accidentally bought two purple conditioners instead of a conditioner and shampoo. So I'm going to do that because that is essential for my blonde, you guys. Even though I have roots for days, it's okay. The blonde hides the gray, so we're all right. Um, and I'm going to run into Sobeys, I think, real quick. But anyways, I'm not going to take you in there. I won't bore you to death. I will see you guys back at home with all of my food. I'm going to stuff my face with some dill pickle salad. I can't believe I almost missed it. Whew, I walked right by it, didn't even see it because it wasn't where the other salads were. I think it's because they're literally, literally selling out of that stuff every single day here. Everyone knows it's delicious. So I'm excited. It's so good. If you haven't tried it yet, please try it if you like dill pickles. If you don't like dill pickles, don't even bother. But buy it at Costco, not at any other store because they're really expensive. If you have it at Costco, buy it. If you don't, wait till it's on sale because it's worth it. It's just not worth $7. One of my friends told me she paid $7 for the salad. I'm like, oh honey, that's a lot of money for a salad. Like you might as well just go right ahead, go to Montana's and get takeout or something. Anyways, because you couldn't go eat in this world, you guys. Anyways, okay, I'll see you back at home and we'll do a haul. Are you hiding on me? <laughs> Are you having fun? Yeah. Got some fresh snow to play with, huh? Tell mom about who found our way out of the woods. Me. <gasps> you guys went for a hiking trail? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, we were lost brother and sister in the woods. Oh, cool. And little and sister there. found the way home. Good job, sister. Actually, I was lost. Were you really? Wow. Well, we did Good circles. thing you had Winnie with yeah, you. I know. She was I, our I saw the light of that. I saw the light of that house. And then I tried to go this way. Nice work. I've got everything set up and I wrote down the prices on everything. So hopefully I'll be able to tell you the prices. Um, we spent two, oh, $281. That's how much we spent. Curtis, did you hear that? 281. 281. He was wondering, I thought it was 284, but anyways, I will show you everything that I got. And if you happen to see Curtis, he's getting some stuff done around the house. Um, he is, and he's in his pajamas. Yeah, he's still wearing pajama pants. Him and Winnie had a good time. And actually, he just had to clean up a whole bunch of dog throw up on the floor, which I did not vlog. It was deer poop. That's what they found on the trail, you guys. Isn't that fun? All right. <laughs> Let me show you everything because I want to start eating this. And it's actually lunchtime. So, um, and when I went to Sobeys, I picked up a chicken as well. So, I'm going to have some of that chicken with... A dill pickle salad. A oh, a <laughs> dill pickle salad. All right, we're gonna start right here on the variety snacking nuts. It's convenient in a display box as well. So how fun is that? Um, Curtis was excited about this because he always takes nuts in his lunch to work. So this will be fun because he can just toss a bag in and not lose my Tupperware, you know? Um, <laughs> I grabbed these for the kids' lunches, 30 packages for $13.99, which is actually a really good deal here. Um, I grabbed some French's ketchup, $5.79 for two bottles. Um, pita bread, perfect for pita pizzas. Tuna um, melt, or you like open it up and use it as a pita pocket as well. Lots of ways to use this, and this is the best place to buy them. For $3.89, you get four, is that four packages or three? Three packages. So just over like a dollar a package. And actually, if you buy these at any other grocery store, they're over over $3. Sometimes you can get them on sale for like a dollar ninety-nine if you're lucky. Um, but usually it's like $2.99, $3.99 for one package. Outrageous. Same thing with these with wraps. Would these have three packages in them as well for $4.89? But that is literally the price of one of these at a regular grocery store. Why I had stayed away for, from Costco for so long, I really don't understand. Stupid anxiety, but now I love Costco. Um, $4.99 for two big packages of hamburger buns. I am craving 
a hamburger so bad. I don't know why I want a hamburger so bad, but it's going to happen. Um, and $5.99 for three loaves of bread. And that is a really good deal here because unless you find it on sale, bread is actually $3.69 a loaf in a lot of places, which makes your head spin. And what is this world coming to? That's crazy. Um, I grabbed two packages of my favorite candy in the whole universe. You guys, I had some regular, regular, <laughs> I had some regular gummies yesterday. They were watermelon slices that I picked up at Walmart and they weren't that good. They honestly weren't that good. And they were so much worse for me. And I was like, this is dumb. I don't even like this candy as much as I like smart sweets and smart sweets are actually not terrible for you. And you can eat the entire package and not feel bad about it. So I probably could have easily picked up more than two packages of these, but I kind of wish I had to get another one. Oh, well, whatever. This will do me for a couple weeks. And hopefully they don't take them out of Costco anytime soon because they're so expensive to buy at a regular store. Ugh. Okay, and I found Lysol wipes again. I'm so excited about that. We use Lysol wipes for everyday cleaning, for bathrooms, for everything. We've been on the Lysol wipe train for many years, ever since they were invented, I think we've been on them. So... Now that everybody else wants them, I'm like, excuse me, I was here first. I like them before you like them. So why are you taking them off? <laughs> I actually hate cleaning with like paper towel and like a spray bottle. It just does not do the trick. Lysol wipes and a spray bottle. Double disinfectant, double clean. That's how the OCD likes to roll in my head. What are you doing now? Oh, I'm setting up our lights in the stairwell. Ah. you're gonna like it you'll see it next <laughs> we'll show you after so orange juice was on sale today for $9.99 for 24 bottles and don't you just love these bottles they're so stinking cute and honestly I like to buy these for the kids because this is how they will drink orange juice if it's in like a big container Skylar will drink it but Winnie and Cooper will not but when they're in little convenient bottles for some reason all three of my kids will enjoy um, and you want to talk about the best deal ever, $11.99 for my beautiful chemical, I love you and all of your bad stuff for my body, and I will drink you every day, and I don't even care, $11.99 for 32 cans, that's a good deal. Um, also a good deal was this, Basel, this is actually the kind of butter we use, I know it's not butter, it's margarine, but we always just call it butter. Um, $8 on sale. And that's a lot of butter. Like that's going to do me for the whole month. <laughs> that sounds inappropriate. <laughs> okay. My favorite veggie straws that I'm going to crack into any minute now, because these are the ones with the sweet potato. And honestly, I wish I could buy a bag with only sweet potato. They are that good. $5 and 79 cents. Um, I grabbed some fruit. I grabbed two um, raspberries because Winnie will take these to school and we'll eat them at home too. So I wanted to have enough. So $4.99 for those and $4.99 for blueberries. I was so disappointed the last time I got blueberries. I bought two packages, spent way too much money on them and they were not good. So I was disappointed and I feel like maybe the season of blueberries is over yet again, but Hopefully these are better. I'm not sure. I don't have that much hope, but someday we'll meet again. Beautiful stri blueberries, straw blueberries. <laughs> uh, I can't. Why do I do this, guys? Oh, I'm not perfect. That's for sure. $13.99 for, um, I was going to say shredded, but that ain't shredded. That's cut. I don't know. What do you say? Sliced cheese. Okay, 48 slices. Um, totally only bought this because I want it to go on my burger. So <laughs> that's happening. Can't wait. And I was so freaking happy to find this dill pickle salad. Oh my goodness. Like I need to hurry up and finish this haul so I can go eat it. Grab three of those and one of the baja salad. Baja? Baja. 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 I don't know. Um, $3.59 each for all of those salads. So that is a great, great deal. Um, $4.69 for these green beans. And don't they look so good? Honestly, you can do anything with these. You can roast them. You can boil them. You can eat them raw. You can fry them up. They work great. They work great. They're great. They're just great. Look at those pants. 
These are from Randa and they're great. Yeah, those, those were your Christmas jammies. All right, I grabbed, how many times did I say grab? That's not even a good word. I got $5.99 worth of Macintosh apples. And then when I went to um, Sobeys right after, I actually saw this exact same bag for $9.99. Exact same bag. All right, Costco, we love your prices. Um, I got some chicken breast this time. I normally buy like the actual chicken um, and cook it in the slow cooker, but I think we're really starting to only eat the breasts. <laughs> okay. Um, so I wanted to see if this would go a little further in our family. Um, and yes, I got the giant pack of lean ground beef. I'm going to put on some gloves to deal with it because you get the fat all over your hands. It gets stuck on there and it's, it just doesn't feel right. So, um, $20 and 96 cents was really good for that. And I am going to make some burgers out of this. Um, and the last thing right here, $6.99 for a giant bag. How many pounds is this? Does it say giant bag of excellent smelling clementines? It doesn't say, but there's a lot in there. You can tell. Anyways, that's everything. Curtis is still working on the lights. They're gonna look great. Ooh, well you can't really see yeah. very much yeah, right it's now. it's not as bright as I expected. <laughs> I'm gonna get all this stuff put away. I'm gonna make my salad and I will show you what it looks like. And if you're new here and you clicked on this video because you like Costco hauls, well, you'll probably like my family too. So stick around, hit subscribe, and on with the rest of the vlog. No you guys, it is time for lunch. I wish you could smell this. Well, Curtis probably wishes he couldn't because he hates dill. It is so good. And I just took a chicken breast off the rotisserie chicken, having that on the side. Going to mix it all up. It's going to be delicious. And I had a few of these. Oh, my heck. So good. So good. Fruit. God's candy, guys. Delish. My lunch was delicious. And now I'm just putting some stuff away and cleaning up because Winnie and Curtis and I are going to play Mario. So you guys, Crystal Light. Wow. So good. That is exactly what I wanted. Absolutely amazing. And honestly, like after I'm done having lunch, I'm in this, like, I don't know why, but I'm in this zone where I want to eat something sweet every time that I'm done lunch. Not necessarily every time that I've done supper, but lunch especially. I always want something sweet. So, in the afternoons, <laughs> I'm really good with eating healthy in the mornings. The afternoons is when everything goes to hell in a handbasket, when I like lose all control and I'm like, yams! <laughs> and I eat all the chocolate and then I feel terrible and then I like cheer myself back up again and... Anyways, this is exactly the reason why I want a tasty water because it's not even that I'm hungry. I just have like a sweet tooth for some reason. And I was lit. Like, I can't even believe that's water and I just spilled some down my sleeve. I can't believe that's water, honestly. Um, I need to learn how to drink better out of a glass. So we're working on it. <laughs> it's so crazy. I've been drinking out of straws for a few too many years, apparently. Um... Anyway, so I'm trying to get stuff done. I didn't make my bed this morning, so I'm going to do that. Um, but I'm also emptying some bags that are on the floor and over here because I didn't get everything put away. I mean, we bought a lot of stuff yesterday. Um, so I definitely got my nail polish remover. I got some Pantene Pro-V scrunching gel. This just helps to keep away some of the frizz. Some of the frizz only. And my favorite deodorant, Dove. I'm all about that Dove, you guys. I've been using this stuff for quite a few years. I love it so much. Okay, so what we're getting the kids for Valentine's Day is nothing big. We don't go big for Valentine's Day. To me, honestly, all it is is a chance to show someone that you're special to them. And that doesn't mean, it's not like Christmas. You know, it, it doesn't need to be big. I just think it's sweet to buy your kids a little something special for Valentine's Day. We never did that as kids or our parents didn't give us anything special for Valentine's Day, but I would always see my dad give my mom flowers and I thought that was sweet. So why not? Like, I think it's special to treat your kids. Anyways, so for Winnie, um, we found these. These are plot, what are they called? 
plumps, plumps. <laughs> I kid you not, these are new. Plumps. <laughs> I love it. These are the squeezables. So she definitely has a lot of these, but they're not a circle. These are plumps. So they're bigger and better. And they were like $6.97 each. So I got her a pink one and a purple one. So I thought that was perfect for when. Um, I gotta hide this stuff. Anyways, and for chocolate for Winnie, we found this extra large Kinder Surprise and Pinkie Pie. Little My Little Pony isn't her absolute favorite, but she does like it and she loves Kinder Surprises. Those are her absolute favorite. And now I'm undecided if I'm going to give her one of these for, um, I was going to say Easter, but that's not it, Valentine's Day, or if I'm going to save it for like a prize in the future. But because we might be shutting everything down here and we won't be able to buy the non-essential stuff, and actually, oh my heck, you guys, I just saw pictures oh on facebook of some stores in zone four which is now in like a total lockdown and they showed pictures of what their walmart looks like it is like garbage bagged off like this black stuff wrapped around the shoe section wrapped around the underwear section like it's so weird. You can't shop for stuff like that. It's just the toy section too. You can't buy it. So I was happy to pick one of these up. You already know what it is. I don't want to say it in case she's right there, but it's an LOL doll. <laughs> and then um, I think that was $16. And then I also got one of these. These five surprise um, balls are actually like the cheaper version of an LOL doll, but they've actually become very, very popular because their branding is just perfect and a lot of people are really into them now so this is the unicorn squad comes with five surprises like the name five surprise get it anyways so i don't know if we'll do i might do both for easter i might do or not easter forget miranda <laughs> valentine's day um i'm just not sure we'll see where we're at we'll see how much they need by then or if i end up buying something else i would like to get a couple more things but um you can't even buy lotto tickets. That's crazy. I just, anyways, moving on. Um, for the boys, I just bought them each one of these. These are their favorite chocolates. And then we're going to give them money. So we're not sure if we're going to do money or gift cards for their gaming things or both. Like I said, we're just going to figure it out when it gets closer. But that is not, that's not a hard thing to do. So today I went back to Winners on my way home from Costco because... Yesterday, I bought two bottles of conditioner, and unfortunately, the bottle of purple shampoo that I was trying to buy yesterday, there was only one bottle left. It's now gone, but um, I did find this Rusk Deep Shine, or yep, Platinum Shampoo. It's still purple shampoo. Um, brightening boosts for platinum, silver, gray, white, and blonde hair. Anyways, it's to help keep the brassy tones out of your hair. Um, so yeah. I did that. And that's what always turns my hands purple. Um, okay. And then I also <laughs> bought myself this because if you came along shopping with us yesterday, then you know that I bought myself quite a few more bottles of nail polish and I am officially now a girl um, because I love to paint my nails and it's like my new favorite hobby and it makes me so happy and I needed a new bag because I have too many now. They don't fit in my old bag. So I got this Ray Dunn. I'm not a huge Ray Dunn fan, but I thought this was really cute. And I do like a lot of his stuff. It was $8.99. Anyways, it's nice, big, and roomy. I like it. Um, and then the only other thing that I bought, it was just on my way out of the store. I have really, I really don't know what to do about Valentine's Day for the kids at school. The boys don't do Valentine's anyways, but Winnie does. And I honestly don't know if they're even going to be in school on Valentine's Day. So I've waited. But then I saw this pack and I was like, you know what? Just go ahead and buy it. If you don't end up needing it this year, you can save it for next year. It was $10, $9.99. But they're rainbow. Um, I was going to say rainbow unicorns. Guys, words are hard today. Um, they're rainbows, period. <laughs> so I thought Winnie would definitely like these. And they come with little rainbow um, erasers, which normally like I will buy a bunch of baggies and little trinkets from the Dollarama for her to give to her friends. But like, I don't even know if 
I just, I don't, I don't even know if they're going to be allowed to pass these out if they do have school, you know? So, but this comes with all these cute cards and envelopes and then these erasers that she can put inside the envelopes. So there won't be any loose pieces and, um, they might just be allowed to like bring them home right in their book bag. Don't open them at school and stuff. Maybe, I don't know. Well, just, I mean, this whole year is just, this whole last 12 months has been a great time. <laughs> Oh my goodness. But like, honestly, for me, I have no complaints because last year at this exact time, like a year ago on oh my land, it was actually just last week was the day that we got Jasper someday last week. I think it was, it came up in my memories on Facebook. Um, but last year around this time was when I was having my total and complete mental breakdown. <laughs> yes, I crawled into a hole for about four months and did not come out. Um, so that compared to where I am right now, I've had a pretty flippin' awesome last year. Even though the world is crumbling around us, it does feel like Armageddon, but my mental health is in check. It is fabulous. So the world can be falling apart around me. I'm just going to be drinking my crystal light, my rum and Cokes and just laughing, putting my feet up, paint my nails. <laughs> All right. I'm going to finish cleaning. Then we're going to play some Mario. It's going to be super fun. And I'm going to try to get better. You guys, I'm going to try. <sighs> I just don't want my kids to beat me. <sighs> Who can relate? It sucks when your kids beat you. I am too competitive for this. <laughs> While cleaning, I found some gum too. That's also for Valentine's Day. What I'd like to do is um, decorate for Valentine's Day um, while they're sleeping the night before Valentine's Day. So when they wake up, it'll be decorated for Valentine's Day. And then they'll have their little things that they're not supposed to be expecting. But they're probably, especially Skylar and Cooper they're old enough to like remember that we do something like this every year but anyways it's sweet so then when they wake up they'll be like oh my goodness my parents love me that's the point but i'd also like to get and i almost <laughs> let me tell you the truth you guys yesterday when i was shopping um i was starting to feel a little um like my anxiety needed to eat something <laughs> You saw we went for Frosties. Okay, so I did eat something, but I wanted so bad to buy some of like my favorite Valentine's Day treats, but I withheld. I did not do it. And my what I wanted to do was buy some like bulk packages so that I could put out their presents and put like chocolates all around them, like loosely. Um but so I, I, I walked around the chocolate section probably three times and I just ended up walking away because I knew if I had bought some bulk packages of chocolate, I would have eaten them. <laughs> I'm a tricky little bitch, you guys. Okay. <laughs> anyway, so I didn't, but I would still like to. Um, but I just don't want to buy it yet. Like if I buy it on February 13th, Galentine's Day, if you've watched Parks and Rec, um, I'll be fine if I buy it then. But if I buy it too early <laughs> and I know it's here, oh, I'm just, Crystal Light is good though. That is helping. I just literally finished drinking two glasses full of it. Um, and I'm going for a third and I'm probably going to pee my brains out, but that's okay. <laughs> um, anyways. I'm still going to go back to cleaning. I just wanted to show you and confess, but I didn't do it, but I wanted to do it, but I didn't do it. So, um, oh, tell me, have you guys seen this? I've been considering, um, buying it, but I'm really, I was considering buying an air fryer for a really long time. And I watched like videos about it. And I actually saw one today at Costco for only $99. Um, but I watched multiple videos about it and I talked to myself out of buying one because I actually think for our family size, it's too small anyways. And it's just really a confection oven. It's not frying anything. And so like, I, I'm not thinking about that anymore, but I'm still thinking about this thing that I saw on TikTok that it is 
an ice cream maker, but it's like with frozen fruit. So like a sorbet maker, you put the frozen fruit in and it like comes out like soft serve. It's It's been on my mind. <laughs> it's been on my mind, but I don't need it. I just want it. I don't know why. Oh, ugh. <sighs> weekends are hard. The weekends are hard. I love the weekends. They're my favorite time. So I'm not saying that. I'm just saying the weekends started off with pizza Friday. And then after that, it's just like, Ooh, but I want this. Ooh, but I want that. You know, like it's just, and then you're like, it's the weekend. Monday's coming. You do better on Monday. But so far, so good today. I did eat a lot of veggie straws. I actually opened the bag as soon as I was done filming and then proceeded to eat every single, um, <laughs> every single sweet potato one that I could find in the top layer. I mean, I didn't shake it up and take all of them because I want to save those for another day. <laughs> but also when I put them in Winnie's lunch, I don't put any of the sweet potato ones in because I'm just assuming she's not going to like them anyways. So those are for me. <laughs> You're wearing them today. Daddy wore them yesterday. Cute, eh? Can I open it? Sure. I like it. Mama, open the package. But there I just see what it is in. Oh. Cool, eh? Cards? Yeah, they're little cards, and then they each come with envelopes. Okay, let's make some right now. Well, Before your teacher we will give us a list of the kids in your class. Mm -hmm. And if you're not ha at school then, then you know what we could do? Addie, Boober, Grammy, Grampy. Nanny and Grampy, Jen and Nay, right? Um, so this, everybody gets... Is this all, um, like, um, how much I have in my class? Actually, there's 24. More of my class? There's more of those than you have kids in your class. So you'll for sure have enough. And these are racist. Yeah, and they can go right what in the envelopes. The these are the little cards. They say, these ones say, have a magical Valentine. And then on the back... Is Valentine soon? Yeah couple weeks on the back you write to maybe to asher from okay. winnie <laughs> or everly pretty cool huh i want to make them maybe you could even make one for me yeah Ooh. Make yours right. well let's go play mario first mario party <laughs> so two people only allowed to play we're all gonna switch turns so i think first we're both gonna do it okay and then daddy and me and then you and Dad. You got it all planned out. Sounds good. <laughs> so um, we're playing, Mar is this called Mario Party? Yeah. Okay, yes. Winnie decided we were gonna play Mario Party and we're having fun. One, two, three, and I just ate these rather quickly. It's your turn. <laughs> Trying to wake it's up. Your turn. Okay, it's gonna be my turn in one second. I'm just gonna tell our friends. Careful, you're gonna get your then hair in the I water. Then should I play one more time? Yeah, Daddy can play one more time. No, I can play one more time. Okay. okay. Well, um, I just got on my phone and found out the results from today's um, COVID numbers, and it's not great. We're still only in a red zone only. We're still in a red zone, not a full lockdown right now. Do you hear how stressed out she gets when she's playing this game? She's a little bossy. I don't know where she gets that from. I <laughs> know. Um, anyways, um... So we do have one zone in New Brunswick, Edmonston, that is in a lockdown. Um, and Moncton's next. Just saying, we had 10 cases in Moncton today. Um, we have way more cases than um, anyone else, any other zones in New Brunswick other than the one that's in lockdown. Um, so I'm not really enjoying just this kind of let's... When does lockdown start? Let's just wait and see when it starts. I don't know why they didn't start it already. We have so many cases in schools right now and all they're doing is shutting down those particular schools. But it's like how long until it gets into our school? I just, I don't feel good about it. I don't. And my three kids go to three different schools. So it's just like three more chances. I just, I know if we get one case, Curtis and I have already said, if we get one case in any one of the kids' schools, our three kids are home, period, until like at least 14 days till it's, we're sure it's done. <sighs> I don't know. I totally was actually just hoping for them to tell us today, keep your kids home. That's what I was hoping for, but 
I just feel like we're just waiting and it's like, I don't like this like dark cloud feeling of like, we don't know what's going to happen. I, I have obsessive compulsive disorder. Can you tell? Like I'm not in control and it's making me go a little like, <laughs> anyways, I was falling asleep on my bed. Winnie came downstairs cause I was cleaning and then um, I sat down because Curtis was in the shower and I was waiting for him to get up so I could finish cleaning. And anyways, so I sat down, I started falling asleep. Then when he came down and played with all my new nail polishes and had a fashion show with them and made them all do a little dance. It was really cute. Um, she can make toys out of anything, you guys. Um, anyways, so I was getting really tired because I was bored. <laughs> And it's Sunday afternoon. Who doesn't love a good Sunday afternoon nap? So I'm awake now. I'm having another. It's it's an obsession. It's it's happening. I really like it. I really like the crystal light. I'm going to try like a whole bunch more squirter thingies. But anyways. I should get off my phone because it's definitely my turn. And... Nice. I'm still not that good at this game, but this game's a lot easier than like regular Mario. So I already won one time, you know, toot toot. Ah, okay, I'll pick you guys up again in a little bit. All right, you guys, I'm just checking in. <laughs> Remember how I said I really wanted to eat like food with sugar and stuff? I'm making cinnamon rolls. <laughs> I couldn't stop thinking about cinnamon rolls, cinnamon rolls, cinnamon rolls, because I had this idea um, of using my biscuit dough for cinnamon rolls. Because like I Googled cinnamon rolls, and I was like, what, you gotta use friggin' yeast? I hate using yeast. I always, I don't always, a lot of the time, the yeast doesn't work out for me. We're just, we're not friends. So I don't like to use yeast. And normally if I see that a certain um, recipe requires a yeasty blend, I'm like, mm -mm, keep moving, <laughs> not making you. So then I was like, what if I, like my biscuits are good. They raise or rise, they, they grow, there's no yeast. And I was like, maybe I'll just make some biscuits, take some of that dough and make up my own little concoction for cinnamon and Slap it in there, roll it up, cut it up, and put it in. So that's what I did. <laughs> I just checked on them in the oven. They look okay. They don't look great, <laughs> but they look okay. And they're cooking up. So we're just adventuring in the kitchen. So all I did was for my cinnamon concoction, I made, um, I took cinnamon, a lot of cinnamon, didn't measure anything. Cinnamon in a bowl, sugar in a bowl, and then a little bit of basil in the bowl. Mixed it up into like, like if you were making cinnamon sugar toast was my thinking. Anyways, I did that, slapped her in there, rolled it out nice and thin, slapped her in a roller up, and I cut it with a knife. I know you're supposed to use like a uh, string or tooth, tooth, what is that called? Floss. I use it every day. I'm burning something. I can smell it burning. Hold on. No problems. It was just something on the burner. I'm making burgers for lunch, supper. It's getting dark out. <laughs> Anyways, I'll show you what they look like. I'm hoping they turn out. I also didn't look at a recipe and concocted my own little, um, uh, what's it called that goes on cinnamon rolls? Uh, oh. Frosting, yeah. And I taste tested it. And it's really good. It's really good. Oh, Curtis wants to show you guys the lights. They actually do work. Yeah, so we good. have like a sensor on them. So when you walk by, look, at, oh, it looks like a spaceship. It looks pretty cool, actually. Curtis loves like Star Wars and Star Trek and here. stuff. So maybe that's, oh, that I bottom think. one turned off because we're not down there anymore. But you can also turn it on for the night if you want. It's yeah, cool. you can turn it on to leave it on or turn it on as a sensor. We have it on the sensor one right now. So we got some lights, woo baby, in here. And Winnie likes to make them change colors. I think I will end up getting a couple plants there, maybe like even a palm tree. Is there Florida palm trees, palm trees in Florida? That would be there kind of fun. Palm trees in Florida, yeah. Are there? Wouldn't it be fun to put like Florida in those things? 
like Disney World. And then it's like when they do the lights at night, you know what I mean? Anyways, it looks really good. And that sign that I got from Frenchies looks so good, you guys. I love it. Oh, so cool. Thanks, babe. You've been doing a lot of hard work. You've been helping out. No, you're getting stuff done, and you're cute at the same time. I'm going to clean up the snow now. Okay, thank you. No problem. And put the garbage out. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Curtis. Um, I wanted to show you. He put up these pictures, too, and I think they look really cute. Ah, it's coming together, you guys, one day at a time. My burgers are really loud right now, but I wanted to show you. I just pulled them out of the oven. The biscuits look perfect. Um, and I think these look pretty good. Like, whoops, they're hot. Holy crap, they're hot. I think they're going to be good. I think so. I hope so. I'm going to try it. I'm a friggin' genius. <laughs> wow. They're so soft. Yep. Genius level pro. Uh -huh. I ate dessert first, <laughs> but you already guessed that. Um, holy crap. I am blown away by how good those are. Like, actually, I think that's the best cinnamon roll I've ever had in my life. Just putting it out there, just saying. If it wasn't all COVID-y, I'd say, come on over, let me try one, you're gonna agree. So I'm just having a couple bunless burgers because I'm actually already kind of full. Um, and I already opened one of these too. So that's the plan. <sighs> Tomorrow's Monday, guys, Cooper's so ticked. He's like, what, 10 cases? We shouldn't be going to school. He just wants to get out of school though. He's not actually scared. He doesn't like the mask rules though. He is nervous about getting in trouble at school for like if his mask falls down by an accident. <sighs> the rules are too much stress. I just don't like that. But um, he also is not drinking water at school unless it's at his lunch break because he doesn't want to get caught with his mask down to take a drink of water. Anyways, we'll just see what happens. We're just gonna fly by the seat of our pants. I'm okay with that. I don't, I, I don't need to be in control. I'm totally fine. You fine? I'm fine. I'm good. <laughs> Thanks for supper. Mm -hmm. see, 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 see. <laughs> We're just coming on to end the vlog, you guys. It is seven minutes after seven, and this I'm, girl's ready for bed. I'm ready for some BBs. BBs? What's a BB? Chips? Magicals, snack, coffee dinner. <laughs> okay, well, I'm gonna go have a shower. I'm gonna end the vlog here so that we can get the night going. My and mom is scrunchy. I think this is. Nice. Yes, I'm loving scrunchies now, you guys. They they don't pull my hair and they are cute. And Winnie's got a ton of scrunchies, so now I get to borrow them. Yeah, that's kind of fun, huh? Well, I'm going to end the vlog, guys. I hope you guys had a really good weekend and hope you're rejuvenated for the next week. We don't know what's happening. We're just trying to be cool, be peace, be thumbs up, be crazy. <laughs> we love you guys so much. Thank you for your support and your love and for your long distance virtual hugs because we're sending you hugs too. You want to do a pretend hug? Yeah, there. We're hugging you. We love you. We'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Aw, love you guys. Bye.